Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, we have something very exciting for you today. Now, if you're anything like me and you've picked up the Sony ZV-1, um, you're hopefully loving the camera. I personally absolutely love it. It's just so portable, so easy to use, good quality, so many great features about it. Um, now, you're probably aware that it comes, or they Sony promoted at the same time they released it, um, something uh, called their sort of grip. I don't know why Sony have called it something so crazy, um, but it's called the Sony GP VPT. 2BT uh, handy grip specifically made for the Sony ZV-1 um, and it's great because it basically doubles up as a remote control and a mini tripod as well which is absolutely brilliant um, that's great the only downer is that it costs 138 pound um, uh, on Amazon at the moment in fact the RRP looks like it's 169 pound 99 um, so I wasn't prepared to fork that out um, if I jumped on the Sony ZV-1 bandwagon early enough I could have got a discount on this if I bought it with the Sony ZV-1 I think they were running it for like 99 pounds or dollars at the time but I didn't have the, the cash uh, to splash, shall we say, in uh, June, I think, when uh, it came out in 2020. Um, so I wanted to come up with another option and I was doing a bit of research on Amazon uh, and I came across uh, a little remote uh, from JJC um, that apparently controls the Sony ZV-1 well. So just wanted to do this quick video uh, as a little unbox really of the remote, uh, give you my first impressions, show you how to set it up. Um, the remote itself only costs £29.99 um, and uh, I've also got a mini tripod uh, that i 've uh, using as well, um, which is ideal, so that combined with the remote uh, is perfect uh, in terms of replacing this um, now of course, this looks brilliant and it 's sony uh, and i 'm sure it 's great but let 's check this out so let me just bring this over i haven 't actually un done the box at all yet, so let 's rip into it and there it is so fairly sort of cheapy feel plastic. Um, JJC uh, do some other things. I've got a sort of a, a camera strap as well for the Sony ZV-1, uh, which I found quite useful. That I attach, I've attached to the Sony ZV-1, um, so that has been great from JJC. So let's dig in and see what's in the box. So we've got small instructions uh, there. Uh, so we'll take a look at that, I'm sure, at some stage, because I'm a bit nerdy like that. Uh, we open the seal and we've got this here. There we go. There it is in its full glory. We've got the big button, which is the shutter release button or video recording button. You've also got uh, focus and zoom buttons at the top there, uh, which is great. Uh, and uh, you've got uh, custom buttons as well, which uh, the Sony ZV-1 has, so we can use that for the defocus button if we wanted to use the remote for that purpose. Uh, and that's that. So um, I will just see if it comes with a battery. Does it? Thankfully it does. It comes with some little gel as well. Uh, so don't eat that, people, because that would hurt. comes with a little battery let's have a look what type of battery is it cr2032 cr2032 cp30 cool so i'm just gonna undo this now if i can cool so i am in so it's nice it actually comes with it for a second i was a bit concerned that it wouldn't and i'd have to stop this entire video and go and find one or purchase one i'm just going to use some scissors to hopefully turn a coin really plastic ruler see if that will work cracking the ruler i'll come back when i've got into it oh well that was a mission i in the end got the end of my wife's tweezers um i do have a multi-tool but I'm not sure where it's gone um, multi-tools are great by the way for camera shoots and things so we're popping the battery in let's pop that in let's right, i think that's in the plastic of this feels pretty cheap to be honest so we're not quite sure how long this will last. It might not even be a good buy, to be honest, but we'll see. 
there we go i think i needed to push the battery in further so there's a, a clip at the top there the top rim um it turns out you have to push it in so it clips in properly it doesn't just sit on top of there you need to really push that in it's probably obvious to most people but for me it wasn't necessarily obvious uh, and i'm gonna just try and get this on now so now it's flush it should work so i've closed it i believe and it's on good we are on i'm gonna have a quick look at the instructions bear with me because i don't want to ruin this necessarily <coughs> so it says before you start please check the remote controls lock switch is in the position to the opposite of lock which it is so you can see it on the side there there's a little lock oh, that's going to go in focus uh, there's a little switch there <coughs> so you just have to make sure it's in the right place so that's that we will fire up the sony zv1 you can see it there excuse the messy desk so on the camera select menu uh, network so i've got a big menu there uh, i've got network set up bluetooth settings we turn bluetooth on then we go to pairing um, and now what we need to do is grab the remote on the remote control press and hold the shutter release video record button and the focus zoom button uh, at the same time for at least seven seconds so we will do that and hopefully what we'll see is it come up on there uh, so we'll do that in a second so i'm holding that down there one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi four mississippi five mississippi six mississippi seven mississippi ah it would probably help if it was turned on wouldn't it i don't know if it's turned on at the moment is there even a, an on button um, so what I had to do was push, change the lock down uh, from up to down and it seems to be okay now. Uh, although it looks as though that the way it is at the moment, the lock switch, the lock is activated but it's working. So I'm not sure what was going on there. So I'm going to hit OK on the screen here. Connected to BTR. Uh, S1, I assume that's the device, it could be absolutely anything to be honest, paired, um, good. Then I think what we need to do is come out of there, so go back and then go to Bluetooth remote control on, and it's now on, uh, and what this should mean is we should be able to now use this to record, so if I Come out of there, go to menu and hit that. Start movie shooting by pressing movie. The main button is only giving me the this this thing here. Start movie shooting by pressing movie. Which I'm a bit confused by. So the reason why I think is that I've got it selected to still. Uh, so what I need to do is switch it to movie and because we're in a movie mode anyway um, it should now work so let's bring that back into place there we go so that's that working uh, it's recording which is really nice uh, so again I can stop it like that um, and if we're in still mode uh, we can switch it to still let's go to my preset for that one take a raw photo i won't worry about the fact it's not exposed or anything at the moment but uh, if we try it now um, so at the moment the switch is in movie um, and because it's in movie it's actually allowing us to go straight to movie recording mode which is interesting even though we're in the raw uh, mode so uh, that's that's good to know um, and i'm going to switch it to on the remote i'm going to switch the uh, slider to uh, still and we'll see if it takes a photo now hopefully it will so let's go good 
So in conclusion guys, this remote is good. It's working okay so far with the uh, camera. To be honest, all I want it for is to hit record um, uh, when I'm doing YouTube videos and things um, because it's a pain to sort of go around the back of the tripod, things like that. So um, very good so far, although it does feel pretty flimsy and if I dropped it, it'd probably smash into a million pieces. Um, so ultimately, if you can fork out uh, the uh, enough money to get the Sony handy grip, that would be a good idea. I know Sony also do a uh, remote control as well. Um, that is a bit cheaper. I think it's about £80, something like that. So if you've got the cash for that, I would recommend doing that potentially. Um, but initially for £30 um, and just uh, to hit record every so often on it, um, this will do the job for me. So quite happy with that. A bit temperamental in the pair and setup process. And as you saw, trying to actually get the battery compartment on was a bit of a mission, to be honest. Um, uh, and a bit fiddly but I did it and I've got there I survived I conquered um, so thanks ever so much for watching this video if you do have any questions about this remote uh, the JJC uh, remote and then uh, it's called the BTR S1 remote so if you do have any questions about it please do drop me a comment below if you do have appreciated this video my channel's all about helping you create better videos um, for your YouTube channel and particularly if you're starting out on YouTube um, my channel is perfect for you um, so thanks ever so much for watching guys take care and bye for now